Hey guys, so <clears throat> let's open this up with Windows Viewer. So this is a lovely picture of me at a rave. Um, don't worry about that. So I'm currently scrolling between two pictures right now. You can see at the top that this is changing. So can you tell a difference between both of these images? You're more than likely not able to. <laughs> Unless I send you a picture. Okay, so. The, the, the reason why these pictures are different is because this one does not have a message hitting, hidden in it. While as this one does. And this is a very discreet way to send a message to someone without anyone having a clue that there's a message hidden in it. Because this, I mean... If I send this to someone, they're just going to think, oh, well, this guy looks like he has a herpes sore on the top of his lip and a black eye and whatever and all this. But they're not going to think there is an entire book written behind this image. So, the way to do that is fairly simple. So, I'm going to delete this. What is that noise? Sounds like a sheep is outside. Okay, so you're going to open up Command Prompt, and you're not, you're not going to open it, you know, any special way or anything, you're just going to open it. So you're going to type in CD Desktop, okay, and then CD the file name, or a folder name. So you're going to make a folder on your desktop, which is going to contain a picture, like this one, and a TXT document that contains, well, a chapter of a book. Okay, so you're going to do that, and you're going to do a copy, forward slash B, space, drag the image, drag it on down, and then hit plus, drag the TXT document down, and then hit space, and then name the new picture, so we're going to name it secret.jpg, hit enter, and then you'll see a new picture show up here, well hold up, this, it looks the same, but how, I mean, they're, they're, there's a whole chapter of a book written behind this. So what you got to do is you got to open this up. So open with Notepad. All right. Scroll all the way down the bottom, and then bam, there's your message right there. No, I mean, usually you would not, you know, put such a huge message in there. You'd probably want to, you know, divvy out the messages throughout numerous pictures, but I mean, and then we can open up Cody, just this one, and there's no message written in it. So that is a very discreet way to send a message to someone. Uh, and stagnography, I forgot what it's called, it's like stagnography or something like that, but that is a very secret way to send a message to someone not using Snapchat. <laughs>